how many of you wanted to check the signs of the alignment between you and your twin flame i mean it's very very natural to feel like looking for such signs but there is a big catch and the catch is this that till the point you are trying to look for this alignment between you and your twin flame outside the moment you clicked on this video you were looking for the signs of the alignment between you and your twin flame outside of yourself right and this is the biggest mistake most of us do that we are trying to look for the solution or uh, some list to take for outside of yourself you are looking for some sort of a validation you are looking for some sort of a confirmation are you actually realizing this fact which we talk very loosely that twin flames are one soul in two bodies your twin flame is you you are them we are talking about these things all the time but are you really getting it because if you are truly understanding that your twin flame is you then the answer to this question is very simple the moment you start being aligned with yourself you would automatically start getting aligned with your twin flame why because your twin flame is you if you are aligning with yourself you will naturally be aligned with your twin flame so when you are having this natural feeling in your heart that you are not in alignment with your twin flame or your twin flame is not aligned with you that means you are not aligned with yourself so first and foremost thing that you need to look into your own alignment with your own self this is the main crux of the whole concept of being aligned with your twin flame and that is why i decided to make this video in the first place welcome back to my channel awaken with pradya all those who have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel all those who want to have private sessions with me all the links are given in the description all those people who want to attend the twin flame retreat that is coming in april 2024 in dubai all the information is given in the description about the retreat and all those who want to read my answers so you can access my quora page and read uh, more than 5000 answers related to twin flames and spiritual awakening so where are we going to look for the signs which will actually make you understand whether you are in alignment with your twin flame or not those signs are going to be inside of you so what are those signs what signs you can look for inside of yourself to check whether you are in alignment with your twin flame or not first sign is feeling balanced there are less or almost no triggers you are not getting triggered by anything outside of you or any action or behavior that is coming from your twin flame even after landing into any sort of a situation which could probably trigger you you are not getting triggered you are pretty much balanced in your own self second sign you are very much in peace nothing outside whatever is happening outside you even if there is a world war 3 that has started around you 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 are at peace in your heart you are not worrying any more about anything you are not expecting anything from your twin flame or from anybody else and then there is this very peaceful feeling in your heart and you are able to stay in that state of peace for a long period of time most of your feeling of longing um or the pain of separation has subsided there is some sort of a union energy that has taken place in your heart so even when you are physically separated inside your heart you feel in union with your twin flame you feel that you are one there is no longing or craving in in the vibration of lack or in the vibration of sadness you might miss them at times but overall you are not holding the separation consciousness you are completely vibrating in the energy of union you are not judging or analyzing your twin flame anymore even when the person is not showing any sign of reconciliation or of course that your twin flame is also human being having the ego mind so they also might be doing lot of mistakes or not treating you the way you want yourself to be treated or there would be so many other limitations where uh, the person is not really coming forward the way you want them to come forward 
the way you want them to acknowledge this connection or embrace this connection. But even after whatever given situation is there in your life, you don't analyze your twin flame, you don't judge your twin flame. You are standing in the place of absolute empathy and understanding of your twin flame. So you hold space for them, you hold a lot of love for them. You are functioning more from the state of surrender rather than being in the state of running or chasing. So that whole um, anxiety-based consciousness which actually makes you get into this pull and push dynamic in this journey has subsided and you are now uh, letting your soul control the journey rather than your ego mind getting into controlling this journey. Another amazing sign that you are aligned with yourself is your ab increased ability or your increased sensitivity towards telepathic communication with your twin flame. That will work like as a hotline, you know. There, there is no effort made. You are not actively thinking about your twin flame also. But there is this uh, ongoing telepathic communication that is always there between you and your twin flame. Feeling love all around you. When you start operating from your heart center and when you start getting into your own balance, your heart chakra will completely be active and open. So you feel a lot of love for anyone and everyone around you, including your family, friends, people who are not your friends, complete strangers, animals, trees, stones, everything that is there in this universe. You will start feeling a lot of love for everything and anything, including your twin flame, even when they are not talking to you. Feeling a lot of unconditional love energy coming from your twin flame. So even when you are in a separation and probably there is some sort of a no talking zone or no verbal communication that, that has happened between both of you, you feel this amazing unconditional love energy that keeps pouring on you and you understand or you feel you are very sensitive to this energy and you are feeling this unconditional love energy all the time that is coming from your twin flame and whatever signs i told right now all these signs also can be described as union with self most people are talking about twin flame union but hardly anybody actually talks about the process of union with self because even before you get into any sort of a union with your twin flame you will definitely first get into the union with self, union with your higher self, alignment with yourself first. That's like the first step to getting in union with your twin flame. So this becomes extremely important and crucial to get in alignment with yourself first, which also can be seen as an alignment with your twin flame. If you are aligning with yourself, you would naturally and automatically start aligning with your twin flame. That's the first step to twin flame union. I have described this whole process of coming in union with yourself in the very uh, one of the very initial videos that I made. A different perspective to look at twin flame stages because when it comes to twin flame journey and the stages, nobody talks about the union with self, which is such a critical and crucial understanding of this journey. So all those who have not watched this video, it really gives a detailed uh, description of this whole process with the perspective of multidimensional understanding. Many people uh, will watch this, many people will listen to this, but very few people will get this. So I hope that most of you who are watching this video are getting what I'm saying and would be able to implement what I just stated in this video. So I hope this video added some value to you. So this is all for today. See you in the next video. Namaste.